my favorite, <laughs> soup de Badakanasana reclined. So if you do have a couple of blocks, you can put the one behind the shoulder blades and you might have to scooch up or down to get in that right position. And then just a block for your head or a pillow. You can even use books here or a pillow or a bolster or a, what are those things called that you can roll out? Um, drawing a blank. But anything you have, open up through your chest, start to stretch through your pectoral muscles, soften your eyes, soften your jaw, inhaling, filling up the lungs, kind of butterflying out the ribs if you're in this position, and then exhale, squeeze out all that stale air. I'll let you just start to exaggerate your breath, lengthen your breath. No shallow breathing today. Only full deep breaths. And if you're in Supta in this reclined position, see if you can start to slide your, your arms up more towards a goal post. Inhale, you can feel the ribs pop out. And as you exhale, they recede back in, squeezing out every last drip of air. And just open mouth, exhale for the next three or four breaths. At the end of this next exhalation, wherever you are, um, come onto your back without the blocks. So you might have to scooch onto your side. And then Apanasana, that little ball. I can move the blocks. With the knees into the chest. Organically moving, rolling out your ankles. Move through this, maybe figure eights. And we're going to come into wind removing pose from here. So bringing the knees back to center, hug them into your chest, then extend the left leg up to the sky first, and then slowly all the way down to the mat. With both hands on your right knee, draw your right knee up towards your right armpit, thigh bone on the outside, and go ahead and roll out both ankles here. Point and flex. And using your, your arm strength, pull the knee up towards your, your armpit, thigh bone on the outside of the ribs, and flex your both feet. So you're hugging in tightly. This is the wind removing part. Inhale, squeeze, and then exhale. Use the left hand, draw the knee up over your body. You might have to shift the right hip a little bit under. Stack your right hip right over your left, and cactus again, the right arm out. So if it feels okay with your neck this far, you can turn and gaze towards your right hand. Still focusing on a deep inhalation. Fill it up and then on the exhale, send the breath to where the sensations in this posture are the deepest. Two more breaths. And then on the next inhale, bring the right knee first. You might have to shift back to center. And then the left knee, and again, figure eights. All right, bringing knees back to center. Extend the right leg straight up to the sky. And then slowly lower it all the way down to the mat. 
Both hands on the left knee, hug the left knee. Tightly into the left armpit, flex both feet. Wind removing here, inhale, squeeze. And then exhale, use the right hand. Lifting up so your left hip is above the right. Again, you can gaze towards the left hand, but only if it feels okay to your neck. Notice if this side feels a little different than the other. This side is a lot different for me as far as twisting. So I really have to focus on not holding my breath, breathing, inhaling deeply, and then exhaling, settling in to the pose. Two more breaths. Next inhale, bring the left knee back first, and then the right knee into the chest. And this time, let's do circles with the knees together, and then switch directions. I'm gonna have you grab behind your thighs, roll back and forth a couple times, and then we'll come up into a seated position. <clears throat> Sukhasana. And I like to sit on a block here. If you guys have something to sit on, go ahead. Right, nice and warmed up. One shin in front of the other. If that's not comfortable, any seated position. Bring the hands down to your knees, sit nice and tall. Filter the breath on the inhale from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. And let's just open mouth, let it go. Two more just like that. Inhale, tailbone all the way up. And exhale. Last one, inhale, lift, or lengthen the breath up the spine, and then let it go. Drop your chin to your chest. Just a little bit of work with the neck as you inhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And we're just gonna flow nice and slowly in some more circles. So inhaling in one direction and exhaling in the other. I always wonder if you guys can hear my neck cracking. <laughs> I need to check it out. All right, coming back to center, lift up your chin and just keep your eyes at a half mass. So we're going to slowly waking up the body Inhaling, the arms go up. And bring your right hand down and lift it open to the side. Fingertips reach, ribs roll towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen back up, both sides of the waist. Left hand down and lift and open. And a couple times with fluidity, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lift and open. Load it up, inhale up, exhale, reach. Inhale up one more time, exhale, reach. Inhale up, and last time, exhale, reach. Bring the arms up. I'm gonna have you flip your hands so the back of your hands are touching. Your thumbs are facing me. You're going to bring your hands to your heart, flip your thumbs up towards your chin, and then reach the palms out like you're serving up a tray. Okay, Come back through the other way. So same thing, palms touch all the way back through up into that start position. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it back through. Serve your tray or give your offering. And just a couple times, inhale, working the shoulders and the wrists, and exhale your offering. So this is a gesture, a couple more times on your own, that we need to nurture ourselves, nourish ourselves, so we're able to take care of others. Take care of yourself so you can be 
more present for others, more truly there. Last one. And up. All right, reach the hands to the sides. Go ahead and come up onto your knees for some, some cats and cows. So tabletop position, knees underneath the hip bones, wrists underneath the shoulders. And let's just go through some Ujjayi breath this time. So that's in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale, open up the front body, the cow. Reach your ribs towards the sky, or towards the, the mat, rather. Exhale, round the back. Fire up your breath. Inhale, in through the nose. Exhale, through the nose, round the back, chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Last one. Inhale, open up. And exhale, round. Coming into a neutral spine, tuck your toes, walk your hands back so you're sitting on your heels. I know, not super comfy. Extend the arms up towards the sky, then reaching the back wall, clasp your hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then drop your hands towards your heels first. Find the length in your neck, and then start to lift the hands without dropping your chin forward, right? Your lobes stay right in line with your shoulders. Release the hands, release the toes, come into a child's pose with the arms to the sides. Just let the shoulders fall heavy. Inhale. And then as you exhale, come back to tabletop. Keeping your hands on the mat, go ahead and lift your right leg. All right, now draw the belly in to make sure that you're not um, arching your back. Then bend the right leg and flex the foot. Navel in, so again, don't let the belly drop. Press the heel towards the sky and gaze up. So it's a little back bend. Inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna really round the back and hug the knee tightly into the nose. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Hug it in. Last one. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, knee to nose. All right, bring the right foot down. Left leg lifted. Navel in. Draw it in. Bend your knee. Press your the, your foot towards the sky. All right, again, navel in and inhale, open through your heart. Exhale, knee to nose, round it. Almost like you could put your foot down that far. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last two, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hug it in. All right, both knees down. Tuck the toes and come into kind of a turbo dog. So you're setting up for down dog, but you're gonna keep the knees bent to start. <clears throat> Check your foundation of your hands and press your chest towards your thigh bones. And then go ahead and come into your first down dog. A little bit wider than normal stance. Movement here is organic. Good. Roll through the ribs, pedal it out. Feel free to keep your knees bent, right? Any movement that feels good. And roll out your wrists, pedal it out. Come back into that turbo dog, chest and the thigh bones. About two more breaths here. Let your head hang. Are you holding your head up? Don't let it hang. All right, bring your feet together. We're gonna to do this little three-legged dog walk to the top of the mat. So inhale the right leg high, and then slowly come to the tiptoes of your left foot, bring your right heel just in front of your left toes and the leg is straight. Inhale, left leg high. 
Bring the left foot just in front of the toes. You might have to come under your fingertips. Inhale, right leg high. Bring your foot just in front. Left leg, so you get the idea. Trying to keep the legs straight. Starting to warm up your hamstrings all the way to the top of your mat. And once you get to the top of the mat, we're gonna come into ragdoll. So widen up the stance, torso to thigh bones, let the head fall heavy. So this is a great place for movement, all right? As you kind of build this posture, start to let gravity open up your spine and your neck. So let the head fall heavy. Rock from heels to toes, really connect to the ground and then find those four corners. So if you think about your foot having four corners, the pinky toe, the big toe, and then your heel has two corners. So root down through all four and just relax into the posture. No tension in the shoulders, they're just hanging forward, no tension in the neck, and of course no tension in the eyes and the jaw. Feels good. We're going to roll or rock from side to side. Coming back to that center position, bring the hands to the floor. So I want you to bring your feet hip width, but not any closer. Soften the knee joints. You're going to slowly roll it up all the way up to Urdhva Hastasana. Good. Inhale as you open your heart. Then bring the hands behind you, clasp them behind you, a little more shoulder work here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, drop the shoulders back down, bend your knees, inhale as you open the heart, exhale, hinge forward, letting the hands fall over the head. Right? Now pay attention that you're not hugging the shoulders into the ears. If you are, draw them back. Okay? From here, bend your right knee, and gaze over the left shoulder. Come back to center and do the other side. Slightly bend the knee, roll it open. We're going to do one more time each side. Inhale, center. And he'll inhale, bend the right knee, open it up. Come back to center. Bend the left knee, open it up. Come back to center, keeping the hands clasped. Slowly come all the way up to standing. So we're still keeping the hands clasped. Working the wrists a little bit. From here, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Come back to center. Right ear, right shoulder. Come back to center, release the hands. And roll out your wrists. Come to the top of your mat. Mountain pose, inhale. Open your heart and chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Take your time here, bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, fingertips to the shins. Exhale, high plank. And just check the alignment of this posture. Navel in, your heels are drawn back, right? The hips are not falling, you're pushing away. Come through Chaturanga, so you have to come to your toes and slowly go past Chaturanga all the way to the mat. Bring your fingertips to the sides. Feet are hip width, all 10 toes are down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Now remember, only to go up as high as the lower back is okay. All right, this time a little different. Inhale, lift the chest. Plant the hands down. You're going to drop your right shoulder and gaze over your left. Okay, so you're still lifted here. Inhale, lift back to center. Drop your left shoulder. Gaze over the right. One more time. Inhale, lift. Drop the right. Gaze over the left. Inhale, lift. Drop the left, gaze over the right. All right, inhale back to center, lower down, bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, engage your core, nice and strong. Up you go, high plank. 
downward facing dog. Let's go through a couple sun salutations. You know, if you have any injuries you need to modify, you can do any variation, right? Or take it out. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step to the top of the mat. Fingers to the shins, inhale, lift the sternum, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Inhale, open your heart, exhale. <sighs> inhale, reach, exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, plant the hands. If you jump, you land with bent elbows, toes or knees, hinge forward, chaturanga, up dog, thigh bones are lifted and your, your belly button's between your thumbs, and then all the way back to downward facing dog. So there's so many variations of vinyasa. Not every day chaturanga is necessary. So just be mindful of how your shoulders are feeling and, and absolutely, if you're favoring one side, I would not do chaturanga. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, float top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, drop your head and fold. Inhale, rise up, exhale, open your heart. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, plant the hands, high plank. Your chaturanga, or not your chaturanga, your vinyasa to down dog. Pedal it out. Hopefully this is feeling a little more comfortable. All right, as you inhale, bring your right leg high. As you exhale, you come to the tippy toes of the left foot. Bring your right knee up towards your right shoulder. Really hug in through the midline. Two more, inhale, right leg high, knee to right shoulder. Last one, inhale, right leg high, knee to right shoulder. Hold it here, step your foot on the outside of your right hand. Make sure your, your right knee is behind your right ankle, okay? All right, so we're gonna come into lizard from here. Shoulders are right over your wrist, you're, you're welcome to stay up high. You can come to your elbows or a block, right? The option also is to stay extended, keeping the left leg lifted or drop it down. Wherever you are, let your head fall heavy. Two more breaths. Right, come back up to your hands. Now drop the left knee if it's lifted. Make sure the left shoulder is over your wrist. We're going to twist. Inhale, right arm high. A breath or two here. And then we'll do the twist. So inhaling, reach the arm to the back wall. All right, bend the left knee and you're going to grab the pinky side of your foot. If you can get it. Okay. As you pull the heel towards you, stretching your quadricep. Roll the right shoulder open. Try to stay rooted through that right foot. I can't see you, but the right foot, remember those four points of contact. All right, gently release your right foot. Bring your right hand back. Now I want you to bring your foot all the way back on the inside of your right hand. Okay, knee over ankle. Keep your right hand down now. You're going to spin the left heel and come into extended side. I'm going to fix this. So this variation, your hand is on the outside of your right foot. The left hand's towards the sky. If that's too intense, bring your hand, your elbow up to your knee. Okay. Parsva Kamasana. Using the left obliques, you're going to come to warrior two. So lengthen up, nice and slow, moving in to warrior two. Double check your footprint. Left hand to thigh, inhale, reverse warrior. Lengthen through your side body, recommit 
to your right knee. All right, challenge you right off the bat. We're gonna come into a half moon from here. So slowly reach forward. You're gonna reach your fingertips above your foot. Right, you might have to move that left foot up and then float the left foot high. Once the, you've got the foot high, you can extend the left hand towards your sky, towards your sky, towards the sky. Now your option here, you might bend both knees and grab a hold of the big toe of the left foot and come back into half moon with the, I don't know, I guess I used to call this candy cane. From here, release the foot. And then slowly, like you're moving through the molasses, back to warrior two. Inhale, reach the sky, toes point out, star pose. Bring your hands to heart, got a squat. Drop your hands to your knees. As you inhale, press the chest open, shoulders back. As you exhale, drop the right shoulder, gaze over the left. Come back to center, inhale. And exhale, drop the other. Keep your neck nice and long. One more time, inhale, press through the gateway of your shoulders and then drop the shoulder and gaze. Back to center, press open, drop the shoulder. Coming back to center, bring your hands to your heart space, sink into your hips. Inhale the arms up, but keep the legs low. So that little arm movement we did. All right, back of the hands touch, thumbs point out. Bring it, the thumbs to your chin and your offering. Okay, back the same way, back the same way. Inhale and exhale back through. Good, you guys. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Go ahead and come all the way up to star. Inhale. Warrior two, now back facing the back of your mat. All right, bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna pivot to the, to the back of your mat into crescent lunge, all right? So your back foot, you're on the back toes. The hands to your heart. Lengthen forward. Bring your right elbow on your left knee and lengthen again, twisting. And you have, always have the, the option, of course, to drop the right knee. Find the length. Super strong through your back leg. Your hands are to your heart space. Bring your hands back to center. Inhale, the arms up. Make sure you're drawing the lower ribs back, super strong again through the legs. Bring your left hand all the way around your back, maybe find your right hip. Inhale, this is kind of a reverse crescent lunge, you're opening through your heart. As you come down, place the right hand on the mat, Left hand high, so we're just traveling past extended side to side plank. Option here is to put your left knee down. Lift your left foot and then bring the toe behind you. Sweep the arm down and up for wild thing. Bring the left hand towards the sky again. We're coming to side plank. Hang in there. Lift the left leg again, and then bring the knee towards your left shoulder. You're gonna walk all the way, bring the foot all the way around, 
to low lunge. And feel free to use your left hand to get there. <laughs> Good. Gazing forward, use your core, bring the feet together. Inhale is length. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, inhale. Shoulders back into their sockets. You should be able to see your toes. Inhale. As you exhale, airplane arms squeeze. Then lastly, come to your toes. Bring the arms to warrior three, so they're right along the ear line. And then plug the shoulders back into their sockets. And five, we'll come to forward fold. Four, three, two, and one fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands, high plank, your vinyasa. Inhaling as you open body. Exhaling, coming back to down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Slowly come to the tiptoes of the right foot, left knee to left shoulder. Hug it in. Two more. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left shoulder. Last one, inhale, leg high. Knee to shoulder. Step the foot on the outside. Then reposition the hands. So we're coming, we're in runner's lunge and we're moving the lizard, okay? So whatever you did on the other side, you drop the back knee, elbows drop the head. Couple breaths. Head fall heavy, and then go ahead and come up to the hands. Keep your right hand planted again, shoulder over wrist, left arm half twisted. Uh, again, I didn't tell you, if your right knee is up, bring your right knee back down. Pause here, and then the next inhale, reach the back wall. Reach for your foot, or grab the pinky side as you pull towards you to stretch your quad out and twist. Pay attention to what your left shoulder is doing. Make sure it's not up in your ear. Release your foot, bring the left hand back down and then we're gonna toe heel the foot all the way in on the inside of the left thumb. Low lunge. From here, plant the right hand, or I'm sorry, keep the left hand down. Drop the right heel. So you're in warrior two feet, or you know, extended side angle. So this version of extended side, your left hand is down, right? Left hand is down, your right hand's up. And again, you can bring that left hand or elbow right to your knee. Open the right shoulder. All right, use your right side body, keeping the length. So reach up through your right hand, warrior two. Inhale, right hand down, reverse warrior. All right, so recommit to your left knee, guys. Lengthen through the left side body and keep this out of the lower back. Reverse warrior. All right, fun transition into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So slowly reach the fingertips in front of your left toes, launch it forward, however that looks. So once you get here, you can keep lifting the right leg, right? And then we'll have the opportunity to grab the back foot. So I like to bend my left leg, grab my foot, and then re-extend. This, this is my tough side. Ardha Chandrasana. With control, float it back. 
warrior two, and then just double check your landing. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess squat. Sink deeply through the hips. This time, let's do little eagle arms. Right arm under left. Okay, sit deep in your, your, your squat, your goddess squat. Keep pulling the knees over the pinkies. Inhale. As you exhale, lean towards the right knee. Nice and slow. Sweep the fingers on the floor and back around you go. Just one more time, switch directions. All right, hold the eagle arms, but straighten the legs, reach the fingertips towards the sky. Warrior two facing the front of the mat. All right, from here, bring your hands to your heart. Crescent lunge, so pivot and turn. You might have to scooch the foot forward, lower ribs draw back, bring your hands to your heart. If they're not there, then lengthen. Left elbow to the right knee, lengthen and then twist. Bringing your thumbs to your heart space. Soften the right shoulder away from your ear. One more breath, and come back, hands to heart, arms go up, bring the left hand around, and open up the chest, that's the wrong way, <laughs> right hand behind, then open the heart, all right. So they reverse crescent lunge, bring the left hand down, and, and come all the way into your side flank. Rainbow the hips up. Bring the right leg high, and then bend the knee, sweep it down and up. Inhale, wild thing. Open through the heart and chest. Bring the right hand to the sky, side plank. Again, lift the right leg, bend the knee, Bring, trying to bring your knee towards your shoulder as you turn to low lunge. Gazing forward, feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana. Airplane arms. Power chair. Any variation. Shoulders back into their sockets. Tiptoes is, is optional. In five, four, three, two, and forward fold. Mountain pose, inhale. Palms touch, hands to heart, Anjali Mudra. All right, here we go. Inhale, Suranamaskar B. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, your vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg high. This time, hollow out the belly, hug the knee into the nose. Two more. Inhale, leg high. Knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Knee to nose, step it through to low lunge. So the foot's on the inside of your thumb. Plant the left hand, inhale, right arm high. Bring your right hand on the outside of your right foot, extended sides. You're gonna drop the left foot so it's parallel to the ground. From here, all the way to reverse warrior. So lengthen up with the left hand and then the right. Reverse warrior. Inhale, star. All right, flip the palms again and offer the hands out. You got it. Back around, inhale as you come up. Exhale, sink. Flip again. Hopefully we've got that little arm movement. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale. Give your 
your offering. All right, inhale, this time just star pose, warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, and as you exhale, this time extended side angle with the hand on the inside and the right hand towards the sky and then over the ear line. Again, take the uh, left arm to the elbow if that's too much. And then we're gonna do that little twist. So bring the right hand down. We're gonna come all the way into wild thing. Left hand to the sky, side plank. Lift the left leg, bend the knee, step it all the way around, low lunge. Bring the feet together, halfway left, Exhale your air and fold. Ukatasana, inhale. Airplane arms. Power chair. Shoulders in their sockets. In five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale your air and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders on your back. Exhale, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. All right, inhale, your left leg high. Knee to nose, hug it in. Two more, inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose, step the foot on the inside of the left thumb. Plant the right hand, left arm high and twist. Bring the left hand on the outside of your left foot. Roll onto the right heel, right arm high, extended side, side angle variation. Really opening the right side body. All right, inhale, reverse warrior. So reach up with the right. Then with the left, high five the back wall. Inhale, star. All right, flip the palms so they're out, thumbs are out. Exhale, gotta squat. Get a little deeper this time, guys. Again, inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, flip it around. Exhale, your offering. All right, star pose, inhale. Where you're too front facing. Extended side angle variation, right hand on the inside, left hand straight up and then over the ear line. One long line of energy, left ankle to left fingertips. Left hand down, pivot. All the way around with control, wild thing. Side plank, right arm towards the sky. Lift the right foot, bend the knee, move it towards your shoulder, step it to low lunge. Feet together, inhale halfway, exhale fold. Ukatasana, inhale. Airplane arms, exhale, squeeze. Lengthen your neck here. Power chair. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fold forward. All the way up you go. Inhale. Palms touch. Anjali Mudra. Again, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank, chaturanga. If you're doing chaturanga, just don't go past 90 degrees. Up dog to down dog. So we're sort of figuring out where we're going. Inhale, right leg high. Knee to nose, hold it, hug it in, hug, hug, hug. Now step the foot on the inside of the right thumb. Left hand planted, inhale, right arm high, twist. Bring the right hand down, pivot the left heel, extended side angle. Breathe. Reach up, inhale, reverse warrior. Don't lose your right knee bend. 
Next inhale, star. Flip the palms, the back of the hands touch, all the way around. Reach, sink nice and deep, guys. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale. Last one like this. Inhale, reach. And exhale. All right, sweep the arms down, star pose. Warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale. Settle in as you exhale. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, ex um, extended side angle, the hand on or the yeah, the hand on the inside. Then bring the arm over the ear line. Bring your right hand down, pivot all the way around. Wild thing, hips high, left arm over ear, reach. With control, side plank. Lift the left leg, bring the knee all the way around, low lunge. Feet together, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Inhale, breath. Airplane arms. Inhale, power chair. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, jump or step, vinyasa. Downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Hug the knee to the nose and hold it. Touch your knee with your nose. Step the foot on the inside, plant the right hand, left arm high, twist. Bring the left hand down, outside of the left ankle, flip, come onto the right heel, twisted, or extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Settle into the left knee, star pose, inhale. Flip the palms, exhale, the hands around, work those shoulders, two more. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Good, guys. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Cross the arm. Star pose. Warrior two to the front. Settle in. Inhale. Good, you guys. Exhale. Extended side. Right hand in front of the leg. Left hand towards the sky and then over the ear line. Drop the left hand, pivot with control, wild thing. Side plank. Lift the right leg, bend the knee, and move to low lunge. Feet together. Halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, inhale. Airplane arms. Power chair. In five, four, three, two, and fold. All right, we got one more round. Come all the way up. Inhale, mountain pose. Hands to heart. All right, one more time through. All right, breath to movement. I need a dip. All right, mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive fold. Inhale, halfway. Plant the hands, high plank. Ranga. Up dog. To downward facing dog. All right, last time through. Inhale, right leg high. Knee to nose. Step it through. Left hand planted. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, right hand planted. Come on to the left heel. Extended side. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale here. Inhale, star. Flip on the back of the hands. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale up. Taking care of yourself. Exhale. <sighs> so you can better take care of those people that we have to take care of because there's a lot of them. <laughs> and exhale. Let the arms go across, star. 
Warrior two to the back of your mat. Settle in. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Hands in front of the knee. Right arms over the ear line. Pivot. Drop the right hand all the way into wild thing. Left hand to the sky, side plank. Lift the left foot, bend the knee, step it all the way around, low lunge. Feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. We just got one more. Utkatasana, inhale. Airplane arms. Power chair. Plug those arm bones, shoulder bones into their sockets. Five, four, three, two, and one fold. Ooh. Halfway lift. Plant the hands. High plank. Your vinyasa. All right, last one. Now that we've got it, right? Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose. Step it through. Right hand planted, left arm high. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Pivot, twisted or extended side variation. Good. Inhale, reverse warrior. Settle in, exhale. Inhale, star. Flip the palms, exhale, reach forward. Sink lower now, you're warm in here. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Awesome work, you guys. Cross the arms. Inhale, star. Warrior two to the front. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side. Elbow to knee, hand to the sky, and then over the ear line. Last one here. Drop the left hand. All the way around. Wild wow, thing. Hips high. Side plank, right arm towards the sky. Lift the right leg, bend the knee, come all the way around, low lunge. Feet together. Halfway lift, and then forward fold. Nice work, you guys. From here, bring your feet apart. Place as much of your hand underneath your feet as you can. And pull down, getting a little deeper into the hamstrings. Let the head fall heavy. Then release the hands, bring the feet back together, bend the knees, you're gonna step back with your left foot. All right, plant the left hand. So you thought we were done with side plank? Not quite. Side plank, but don't worry, we're not gonna stay there. Bring your left knee down, okay? And you can just position your left foot so where you're comfortable. Bring your right hand behind your head, okay? Root down through the four corners of your right foot because we're going to bring the right elbow to the left knee and crunch. Okay? Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open up. Eight more. Elbow to knee. Seven. Open up. Elbow to knee. Six. Elbow to knee. Five. Elbow to knee. Four. Elbow to knee, three, two, and one. All right, side plank, right hand down. We're just going to go ahead and go to the other side because we're running out of time. Drop the right knee this time. Position the foot, root down through the left foot. Right hand behind the head. Here we go, inhale. Knee to elbow. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, whew, four, three, two, and one. Forward to plank, all the way under your belly. Let's go ahead and tee the arms out, shoulder stretch here. So bring your right cheek to the mat. 
All right, your arms are in line with the top of your mat. Press into your right hand, bring your left hand to your chest. Inhale, roll onto the right shoulder, bringing the left foot behind. Okay, so your option here, left leg straight or bent, right? You can keep the left hand by your chest or open it up. You've done quite a bit of shoulder work, so you might be able to bring the left hand to the sky and then reach the back wall. All right? You can stay here. If you can reach your right hand, that's totally awesome. If not, you're going to tuck your left hand under your right hip. Nice work today, guys. Unbind if you found the bind, left hand to the sky. Back to the chest, and then all the way over. Tee out the arms, left cheek on the mat. Bring your right hand to your shoulder. Inhale, open that left shoulder. Right hand high, flip the palm, reach the back wall. All right, so maybe this hand can reach the left hand. If not, bend your right elbow. Tuck it underneath your hip. And breathe. Unbind, right hand to the sky. Oh, it feels good to come back to center. And just come up to tabletop. All right, how do you want to get there? Come on to your back. Knees into chest. Tapanasana. We'll go ahead and extend your legs up your imaginary wall. Stay here or come into Halasana if you want. Okay. For Halasana, you're going to press into your hands, draw in through your belly button, hips high, and then bring the toes to touch or not. Mine aren't touching today, so make sure you support your lower back. This is one of those crazy poses. Some days it's super easy for me to bring my toes down. Some days not so much. My body's still angry at me for introducing all that cardio. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Legs up high, shoulders stand. Woo! And then wherever you are, guys, let's meet. And dead bug. And then whatever final asana you want to do today, guys, when you're ready. Shavasana or any other posture. Check in with your prana. Check in with your, your breath here.
attention. If you're in your Shavasana or your final asana, just pay attention to your breath here. Be an observer rather than a controller of your breath. How does it feel? Is it different than when you started? Is there still tension in your body that you can let go of? idea of taking care of yourself, nourishing yourself so that you can give more freely and be more present to the loved ones in your life, your friends, your family, your children, your community. And as you guys know, as if you stop taking care of yourself, everything falls apart. And wherever you are today, take maybe one more big stretch or um, come onto your side body. However you wanna get there, let's just meet in seated position. We'll seal in our practice. And I'm bringing the hands when you're ready to your heart space. And as always, I'm truly, truly grateful for each one of you. It's great to be able to, to see your faces, your smiles. Bringing your thumbs to your th third eye, your center of intuition and light. May there be peace in your minds, and may there be peace in your hearts. Namaste.